Now, Chinese President Xi Jinping and WHO Director General Margaret Chan have witnessed the signing of a memorandum of understanding at the organization's headquarters in Geneva. The MOU will step up its health cooperation under the framework of the Belt and Road Initiative. A former Chinese health official in charge of international cooperation says the MOU shows China as to participate in global health governance. We'll go to your reports. Under the MOU, China will work with the WHO to improve both the health level and health industries of China and other countries along the Belt and Road. Areas of cooperation will cover implementing health regulations and public health emergencies. The two sides will work together to improve health care systems and to prevent and control infectious diseases and chronic diseases. There will also be closer cooperation related to the certification of Chinese medicine and vaccines. A former Chinese senior health official says the MOU shows China wants to contribute its own experiences to the world. This is not the first MOU between China and the WHO. The earliest was signed in 1978, but previous ones were mostly about China getting health-related support from the UN. This MOU is different. China now wants to go and cooperate with not only the UN but also other countries. Efforts are already underway. 1,178 Chinese medical workers are in 51 countries and regions. 42 of those nations are in Africa. China began sending medical teams to developing countries in 1963. 24,000 medical staff have treated 270 million patients. China's medical aid includes building free hospitals and training medical staff. The largest aid mission was carried out in 2014, fighting Ebola in West Africa. As one of the earliest witnesses of these efforts, Professor Liu now sees the trends of change. Ebola can be used as a starting point. From Ebola aid, China's medical assistance will have a big change. Previously, China mainly focused on providing clinical services. Now it's expanding to public health to help developing countries achieve the goals in the UN 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. Those goals mainly aim to improve people's health. The National Health and Family Planning Commission has confirmed that Beijing will strengthen cooperation with the WHO's headquarters, its West Asian office, and its representative office in China to work to promote health efforts to countries along the Silk Road and the international community. With its own health experiences, China now wants to play a more active and constructive role in global health governance. The country believes health is an essential part of development, and all countries, international organizations, and civil societies should work together against the global health threats. Wu Guoxiu, CGTN, Beijing.